So it's time to redesign the throttle. Yeah, um, just redoing all the controls. The original setup I kind of just threw together real quick to test it out and see how it was going to drive. I've got a rough blank of what the throttle plate might look like. And I figured if I put the pivot somewhere near the middle of it here, then I get a lot of motion out of the bottom end from a little motion at the top. All right, guys, we're gonna take a quick break to talk about the sponsor for this week's video, which is Raid Shadow Legends. This is the most immersive RPG game experience you'll find on your smartphone. Seriously, these graphics are amazing. And best of all, the game is completely free and comes with an amazing storyline. There are hundreds of champions to collect and customize that are all insanely detailed. Hurry up and download the game by clicking our link in the description so you can get started and jump into giant boss fights and PvP battles. And if you think you're getting good at the game, you can join their special launch tournament and win huge prizes. Man, these graphics are pretty sweet. The game is getting big real fast, so get in early and get a huge head start by joining my clan called GHPC. As an added bonus, if you download the game using my link in the description, you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion to plow through your enemies. Download the game today to join the fun and help support our channel. How does it feel? It's a lot better. Um, still need a little bit of fine tuning and a couple places I need to weld better, but it, uh, much easier to use. You know, if it's all the way that way or all the way this way, you can still, you know, you're not trying to reach for one specific spot. And also it's a lot closer to the handlebar. These are like a day each, <laughs> these controls. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this one's a shorter day. This one was a pretty long day when you include redoing the master cylinder for the third time. Uh, I finally went with the one off the 450 and it's way better. <laughs> Takes forever, but it's so worth it. I mean, already this is just an enormous improvement. Like the brake, you can just you know, grab easily with a finger. Clutch lever finished. Dang. It's so much better. I added in this adjuster screw so that you can change where the bottom of it is. Um, you know, you could adjust it back and it would go down a little farther or adjust it in and pull it up a little bit just so that, you know, when you let go, it doesn't flop all the way down. Plastic attempt number two. Got the right type of plastic this time. And uh, it's translucent, so that's actually kind of convenient for making marks and stuff. Like I can just overlap it here, and then I can see the pink through it, and <laughs> yeah, mark where it goes. So that's kind of cool. Seems to be working out. For clamps, we're going with uh, one of each. Because <laughs> that's what we got. Yeah. Got all sorts of different kinds of clamps there. <laughs> Doing the trick though. Yeah, it seems to uh, work pretty well. We'll see what it looks like when we uh, let it cool and um, unclamp it, but I think it's looking good. Really looks like this is gonna work. Yeah, it's working great. Um, the plastics are sticking to each other, so we got that part right. And um, the welder thing works. It's very slow and tedious, but it's sticking it together. And then I took a little piece of screen and embedded it all the way along this seam. Just melted it into the plastic, and then I'm like filling it in with a little bit of the plastic rod. Um, I think it's a little overkill to do the whole seam, so this the next seams I'll just do like a few little pieces. This 
so we have to test out these plastic panels to make sure they're gonna hold before we paint them, but really it's an excuse to play in the mud. That's what I was gonna say, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's really just an excuse. <laughs> because it's been raining, it's muddy, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Got a buddy up from beautiful British Columbia. His first time on the Jeep. Yeah! <laughs> that thing's wicked. You got air. <laughs> yeah, that was a little scary. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure what to do. Oh man. <laughs> Well, it's safe to say that the plastic welds are gonna hold up just fine. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they're gonna hold up really well. Jumped it, jumped it pretty far. <laughs> jumped it, wheelied it, <laughs> cornered it. Yeah. Rallied it. Bro uh, popped a tie rod off and still did fine. She is ready for paint. Yeah. Exciting day. Yeah. have uh, overused the wheelie bar there. Just a little bit, yeah. <laughs> it also just wasn't welded on all the way. Um, once again, I just kind of tacked it in place and figured that'd be fine. I didn't realize we'd be using it as a hardcore wheelie bar all the way. <laughs> <laughs> so we just, just gotta throw it back on there and weld it on. And then in the next video, we'll take it all apart and paint it, which will be the coolest time lapse ever. Yep. And then she's done. Yeah, until we break something else. <laughs> <laughs>